morning. Welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> welcome to my vlog. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, subscribe. Alright, I'm gonna say one word and you have to say the first word that comes to your mind, alright? Today. Arms. Is that what you wanted? You wanted that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cinematics, bro. We had the best. <laughs> He's leaving me to get a breakfast by himself. Yeah, some friend. Say the first thing that comes to mind when I say this word. You ready? Pencil. Paper. Paper. Pencil. <laughs> Hat. Face. Eyes. Eyes. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay, wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> you say a word, and I'll say the first thing that comes to my mind. A word? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Food. Car insurance. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You guys know the drill. Thanks for helping me film. Yeah, of course. Say bye. So just finished the gym. I'm gonna go to one of the places I like to go to get some after gym breakfast gains. It's actually a pretty rainy day today. It's usually bright and sunny, but nah, actually Hilo, you never know the weather. It always rains randomly. Blessed either way, thank you Jesus, for the gift of life and um, oxygen and super local mocos and good friends and family. Thank you Lord. I was reading the scripture yesterday in Deuteronomy. Basically it's just telling you not to forget about God and in all your successes, riches, etc. Don't forget the Lord. Let's eat. Morning. 
Uh, can I get the super local moco, please? All right. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Two eggs, gravy. You know what's good? Oh, yeah. Mukbang naman tayo. So, I was reminded today of a scripture that I read yesterday. Father God, thank you for this food. Uh, let it nourish my body. Thank you for this awesome day and your blessings in our lives. Thank you for your love, your forgiveness, and your grace. Um, love you, Jesus. Please bless this food. Let it nourish my body. In this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to pray. So I was reminded earlier of a, a scripture that I read yesterday in Deuteronomy. It says, okay, let me pull it up for you guys. So it's in Deuteronomy 8 verse 12. For when you have become full and prosperous and have built fine homes to live in, and when your flocks and herds have become very large and your silver and gold have multiplied along with everything else, be careful. Do not become proud at that time and forget the Lord your God who rescued you from slavery in the land of Egypt. I was reading that, I was like, wow, that's true. Don't forget God. So thank him for the challenges and pray that he will help you through it. Been reading the Bible lately and there's a lot of cool things I'm learning. Wait till it also gets up to Jesus. That's when everything changes for us. In the Old Testament, do sacrifices to uh, get forgiveness for our sins. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that we may not die, but may have everlasting life through Jesus. He literally came from heaven into this earth as a human and lived a life without sin. It shows that, of course, he knows what we're going through. He knows the struggles. He knows the temptations. Yet he still loved us so much that he let himself be crucified to become the perfect sacrifice for our sins so that we may experience everlasting life. If we accept Jesus in our hearts, and walk by faith with God and repent of our sins and believe he resurrected in three days after he got crucified. You believe that with all your heart that you may experience eternal life through Jesus. And that I am incredibly, incredibly grateful for. So that's why I'm really trying to change my life and I want to share that with you guys any way I can. Oh, I like it when you split the yolk and it comes out. The rice and the gravy together with the yolk. So it's 9.08 and I'm home now. And usually I'd work at home today, but today's kind of a cloudy day. So I don't know if we're gonna work. Let's see what I'm gonna do today. So me and my family are deciding we're gonna go to Rainbow Falls, one of the most famous um, waterfalls here on the Big Island. what I'm always talking about it's this morning was super rainy and now it's a super beautiful nice day My dad does tours and he'll give you guys a quick tour. Go, go, go. Oh, welcome to Rainbow Falls, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go over here and look at the waterfall. Oh man, Red look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. If you notice that the water is a little muddy from all the rain we've had lately. Wow, look at that. We come here about 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun is so that there's a rainbow right here. Look at how big these mango trees are up here. Big mango trees.
So, we're here at Boiling Pots. Let's check it out. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Wow. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? This is where Tarzan lived. Nah. Okay, bo. Okay, we can do a little education here. This is the shoyu ahi and spicy ahi. Terakimas. Thank you, Jesus. This is a baby octopus, and it's not a squid because a squid has six legs, octopus has eight, so this legs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs, and a head that's octopus. Great education. You have to chew it at least eight times. All right. What's up guys? So it's 5.23 p.m. right now and I'm gonna be heading out back to the gym. Um, circuit training or boxing with my friend James at this time. I usually listen to some Christian music. I found some non-copyright music on YouTube so I'll throw it in the background. Here we go. Two, baby. Good one, boy. I'm ready. Let's have a little tuli. Hit him up. Alright, let's go. Jeff. 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 One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Nice. Two blocks. Right in the ribs. There you go. Yes. 
Done training boxing. Gonna grab a bite to eat. Hey, boy. Good one, bro. That's crazy. Kill the dog. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, you can order whenever you're ready. Cool. Do you have a face mask? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma is it regular Supreme for the Dorito taco? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'd get a regular Supreme one. Uh, yeah, Dorito taco. Local or Supreme? I mean, regular Hi. Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> I'll get Supreme. Burrito Supreme in the house. Finally got back home now. I try to get to sleep at least by 10 or 10.30. I'm gonna shower real quick. But the, the way that I like to finish off my night is by reading the Bible. I try my best to read the Bible every day. This is my cool little handy Bible. New Living Translation. So let's see where I'm reading right now. On Romans. I want to read you guys this verse in Romans chapter 8, verse 5. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things. But those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the spirit so letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death but letting your spirit control your mind leads to life and peace right there guys we are the temple of the holy spirit if you have the holy spirit you pray to god for the holy spirit in you um you are a temple so god's spirit is in you so take care of your body and take care of the holy spirit it also says here in romans chapter 8 26 and the holy spirit helps us in our weakness for example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. So the Holy Spirit also prays for us. God's Spirit is in us and is praying for us and loves us so much. If you go on to read, nothing can separate us from God's love. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. I really encourage you guys to get your Bible and just really read it. May God's grace be with you guys. God loves us so much. So guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So I thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys can share this video with some friends if it interested you or if you know anybody that would like to watch it, uh, I would appreciate that to help promote this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I had fun filming. Until next time, aloha.